Welcome boys, Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Boys, it's nice to see you. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, today my video is about my Canon Fixia HFR 800 camera. Look at that. Camcorder. She's a beauty. Since I started my YouTube channel about four years ago, this has been the backbone of the channel. I've made 99.9% .9 of my videos with this camera. But about two months ago, it started with an intermittent problem. When you open the wing here to see the monitor, uh, it would be blank. And when the monitor is blank, you don't know what you're videoing, right? So you don't know whether you're framed upright or not. So the camera was basically useless. Uh, and what I tried to do was, uh, it, because it was intermittent, when it was working, I tried to make a video, but nine times out of 10, it wasn't working. So it was getting hard to make videos. So I ended up, uh, I bought myself a GoPro Hero 9, and that's what I'm using right now to make this video. And I'll be doing a review in this Hero 9 upcoming through the summer. But in the meantime, I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm going to try and take this Canon Vixia HFR 800 camera. I'm going to try and take it apart. <laughs> then I'm going to try and put it back together and hopefully make it work. <laughs> so let's go see how I make out. So here's my Canon Vixia. And usually what happens when you open it up, this monitor doesn't work. But you see just now it works. So it's intermittent. Still working. So I think what's wrong with this is uh, there's a problem with maybe some of the ribbon cables that's inside this. So I was on YouTube the other day trying to find out if there's a way I could fix this. And apparently there is, you have to take it all apart. One thing that they mentioned in this one video that I watched is there's lots of different screws and there's different sizes of screws. So one thing they suggest in order to make sure you get everything back together the way it's uh, meant to be is that you identify where the screws came from. And also because I'm videoing this I'll be able to keep track of them even better that way. So this little screw I'm going to take out of there and if I look at that screw it's kind of a, a flathead screw if you can see that. So I'll put that, I've got a little tray here to hold the screws in, right here. And I'll take this one out of this side. Another thing I noticed too when I was reading about these, it says, uh, like, don't attempt this job unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And the other thing, the other suggestion they gave was, don't attempt this job unless you don't mind that the camera doesn't work again. So on, on this cover, the back screw was longer than the front screw. So I'm just going to mark that down here. And then, I don't know if that comes off now or what. It looks like it's all the same piece, so maybe we have to take this bottom off too. So the bottom. There's one of the bottom screws, and it's a flat head, and it's kind of long, I guess. Flat head and long, so so far these are looking to be the same type of screw. Okay, bottom. All right, now what happens? Well, let's take some more screws out and see what happens. Uh, there's a couple of uh, rubber feet here that have to come off rubber pads and there's just glue in the back of those. I'm going to take these ones out. And that's a tiny flathead screw. And then there's one here in the corner. Oh and this is a little tiny short one. Now let's see what we can get apart. 
Oh, I guess we can take the memory card out of it too. We don't need that in there anymore. I see two screws right here. I'm going to take these out too. It seems like uh, this side of the camera should just fold right out of there, but it seems to be held by, there's a little indentation right there, if you can see that. I'm thinking there's a screw head under there. Yes, by God, there was a screw in there. I don't know what it's filled with. I had to put my magnifying glass on it to see it. And it's a, a medium screw. So the right hand cover. All right, now let's see what happens. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, but my my strap goes right around this uh, anchoring point. So I'm going to have to pull. I didn't want to pull that through there because it's probably hard to get it back in. But I guess I'm going to have to. All right. So I'm thinking ribbon cables are the problem here. So I'm examining these ribbon cables kind of close. So this looks like it's loose on the front, but it's being held at the back. And the only thing I can see is there's a screw right here. And it's an inside screw and it's chrome. So I'm just going to mark that inside. Okay, I got that out. Now what happens? Seems looser anyway. Okay, this ribbon cable is holding it now. And on this ribbon cable, if you can see that, there's a little bit of a flapper on it. If you lift that flapper up, I think that will release the cable. There it goes, it just flipped up. So now I'm going to try and pull that ribbon cable out of there. There it comes, just as slick as that. Everything is so delicate, right? I'm afraid that I'm going to break something. Oh. There's another part of that ribbon cable that just plugs in the side here. There. Okay. So that's the top off. Put that aside. Now, what do we got? Uh, I'm trying to get at the ribbon cables that connect to the monitor so how do I do that I've already taken this all the screws out okay here's a connection here that goes to the to the lens how do we get that apart that just pulls out I guess yep just like that oh I see another screw on this side and this screw is going to be on the top if all this is going to make sense when I put it back together, I don't know. <laughs> Flat head. Okay. And off comes the lens cover. Whoa, look at that little o-ring in there. Delicate. Have to remember to put that back on there before I'm done. So there's, I got access to the lens now anyway. Okay, now, all right, now I can see some ribbon cables going to my flip out screen. I'm hoping it's a ribbon cable issue and not this pivot point on the screen, but we're not sure. I need to get the cheater on it here. Uh, it would be nice if I could get this 
assembly out of there so I can see those cables better. How do we do that? Okay, I see a screw down in here that I'm going to take out. If I can get it. And that's a flathead chrome. So this one is holding the uh, memory card. And I think they're both the same length. Here's the other screw on the top here. Oh, there's a little tiny short one. So, top. All right. Now, what does that give us? Oh, another screw right here. That's a, another one on the top. Now what happens? I was trying to get this out. Oh, there we come. Being held at the front, I think. Yep, one more screw right here. So then uh, bottom, all right, now, oh yeah, look at that, so that's the memory card reader, set that aside, now how do we get this lens body out of here? which I guess is the main heart of the camera. Oh, there's a couple of more ribbon cables here. Looks like they just pull out. Like that. And like that. Oh, there's another connector here. I don't know if that's that's just a connector and it just unplugs. Oh yeah, look at that, and then she comes right out. So that was the little connector right there that I was struggling with. But I got it. So that's the lens body. Now not much left of this chassis, but I can get access to these ribbon cables now. This is another one of those ones where I think you have to flip up. Maybe not. How do I get that out there? Does it just pull out? Yes. And then there's another one here. But this one is screwed in place. There's a little itty bitty screw. So, a lens, ribbon, screw. Alright, so, that should free up this one. Oh yeah, that goes down here to, it looks like a little kind of a switch block or something. That tells us when the screen is open. And I think that just pops out. Well, before I go that far, I'm going to take these two screws out of here because I think they what they are what hold the uh, monitor in place. So monitor. Okay. Now the only thing holding that is this piece right here, which is the switch. It is a switch. You can see it there. But how does that come out? Ooh, it just pops out like that. All right, so there's the carcass, and here's my monitor. Now I have to examine this for bent ribbons. 
or bad terminals, bad connections. I have to look in the cheater for this, the way everything looks good. I don't know that I want to open up the monitor to check this connection. I think that would be a, a catastrophe if I went that deep. But these ribbon cables, they look good. I thought maybe I'd find one that was maybe a little bit loose or the connector was loose. But they all look good. I don't know, uh, all the ribbon cables, they all look good, eh? Yeah, amazing. It's a feat of engineering, I'm telling you, to design all this, to have it go all back together the way it does, or to fit together the way it does, whether I can get it back together, I don't know. But anyway, I can't find any problem with the ribbon cable, so I'm going to try and put it back together. screws I can find to put or the all the spots I can find to put screws in and it looks like I've got two left over so we'll put the battery on it and try it you ready there you go look at that it's asking to go right back to the square one business well I don't know it's uh, it's working for now <laughs> and I got two screws left over I'm gonna try take a few videos with it anyways and see what happens but uh, it appears anyway that uh, that it's working ain't that great <laughs> ooh, 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 baby what a job, eh? Got to have tiny little fingers and good eyes. And I've got fat fingers and poor eyes. But anyways, we struggled through it. I took all that camera apart, checked the ribbon cables. They all look good to me. Looking at with the magnifying glass. And I apologize for the video clips in this because uh, I had a hard time seeing it. So I'm not exactly sure how great the video was. But anyways, I checked them all. The connections all look good. Put it all back together. I think I had three screws left over. <laughs> they say if you take something apart, and put it back together enough time she'll end up with enough spare parts to build another one i believe them but anyways i got it all back together and so far it appears to be working so i'm going to try and make a video with this camera and see how that turns out in the meantime thumbs up me <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video but trying to fix a canon vixia hfr 800 camera take care folks have a great week we'll talk to you